Hi, I'm Liz Holpin from Pinhole Quilting. I'm going to run through with you some of the things that we think you might need when you're doing your pro stitch or installation on your studio frame or your gallery frame if you have one of the larger frame systems. Whilst a lot of the information is in the manual, um, just step through it, do a parts check to make sure you've got everything before you start and let us know if you don't. But the other thing is that you're going to need a couple of extra things that we would recommend. First of all, you've got to make sure that your table is nice and dust free. We've got this blue track, it's called Flexi Rack. It's got a very precise tooth um, system, which basically is what the cogs on our carriage are going to run in. It has a double sided tape and we're going to apply that to the table. It's so therefore it's really important it sticks down well because your whole machine is going to be using that track. So aside from uh, using a hoover, if you've got a lot of fluff on it, the other thing that we use is sticky stuff remover. It just takes anything off the surface that might be greasy, which means that that won't stick correctly. Aside from the double sided sticky that we've got, we've also got uh, a fixing kit that we're going to use at either end of the machine. And the fixing kit we need the templates that we will have sent. We need you to use these. This template, number one, is going to be used for the fixing kit. So you're going to have two screws and two washers. Just get those. So it's going to look like this. You're going to get a set of bags. And in one of them, you've got a drill bit and you've got some uh, four washers, which are square and have um, a lip on them. So like a, a long L and four screws that need a Phillips screwdriver. So get yourself your, your fixing kit. You'll also need a drill. Um, so you're going to put the uh, new drill bit into your drill and change it to the drill setting. We're going to use this template so that we can precisely work out where to put our screw holes into our table. We don't want to have to drill those twice. We used to do it where we'd follow the instructions that are in the manual, but Pete very nicely did some templates and I've copied these so everybody who's got a pro searcher that they're going to self-install is going to have one of these templates. So the template has four holes. For alignment, this is going to align to the front of your front track. So this bit here where there's double dash lines, apparently this means that you align it with an edge and your edge in this case is going to be to the aluminium track at the front. Where the rectangle is means it's going to go into the corner and I've put also frame ends. So on this end I'm going to align that rectangle, blue rectangle and again to push it against the track. And where those holes are I'm going to put it flat onto my, um, on up here and I'm going to use my drill to align it and I'm just going to drill through the table. That means that at this end with those two holes I'll have the screw holes done for this side and then I'd go to the other end of my frame and using this same process I would do that far corner as well. Push it right up into the corner and do your two drill holes which are going to be for your screws. Um, then leave a, a two screws at one end, two screws at the other end with a washer for each one and you're ready to do your putting down of the track. To put down the track we've supplied you with another template. This template is approximate because when we put the frame together this aluminium track has a little bit of variation as to where it sits um, and we screw that in underneath. That should all be set for your carriage. You're going to have a brand new pro stitcher carriage and the pro stitcher carriage has got the motorized carriage. Um, the, the latest ones, this version here has also got some lights in it numbered one to five and those lights are for any fault determination. They tell us whether the motors are running correctly. On this carriage, aside from the standard parts that you'd normally expect with your carriage that doesn't have a pro stitcher, we've got this whole inset with metal holding it all together. There are cogwheels, cogwheels that run on the top that are going to engage with this. So on the left hand side of your machine you are going to put this and this track is then going to engage with the white cog there and on the underside we're going to have an, another cog which is already in place and it's going to engage with the blue track that runs 
in the x direction. So that's the x and the y. And the way that we remember that, Ben Salter um, did some training with us in November 2019, and he said, you know it's y because it goes forwards and backwards towards you for y. One of the other things you'll need is this hex key. When we're laying down the track, we need to engage that front cog. So to show you how we do that, you'll come round to the front of your carriage and you will drop that. You can see that that comes up or down. And we want it to go down so that it's going to run along the track. As you can see on this particular frame, I've already got the blue track installed. How do we work out the distance? If you have already had the uh, electromagnetic channel locks installed, you will have some steel bars there, but it's not a problem. You're gonna leave those in place. We don't recommend that you take them up. They make a bit of a mess of the table. And uh, quite often when they're installed, there might be some very strong glue used as well as the double-sided tape. And uh, if you try and remove them, it's just gonna look a mess. So leave it in place, there's no need to remove it. This second template is going to determine the distance between the aluminum track and where you're gonna lay your blue flexi rack. But you need to double check it. So when you start at one end, what we need you to do is just check that that cog that's under here is actually lying in the correct position if that template is used as is. So do double check that. Get low and just check as you start it off and you've put the screws in and you've laid your end of your flexi rack um, into the, 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 um, the washers. When you do that first section, just double check it um, and make sure that it's absolutely bang on. That's gonna make a big difference to how your machine works. Another tool that we think uh, is pretty useful when we're doing this installation is a pair of clippers like this because we can snip not only the cable um, tie holding that on, but also it's useful for snipping the end of this track because it will be slightly longer than what you need. When we ship your carriage, we are uh, checking, uh, or rather in putting a little bit of silicone, silicone spray on the white cogs. They're um, nylon and into the plastic, that's plastic against plastic really, um, makes a bit of a mouse squeaking noise, which can be a little bit irritating. Um, so to avoid irritation, we spray it with a little bit of silicone spray. Um, and on some of them, we'll be wrapping that then with wadding so it doesn't get all over your machine. Doing it on that cog and the one on the underside. Um, if the squeak reappears, it's not a problem. Just move your machine to the very, very front and lift it up and you'll see this cog here. Put some tissue underneath it and just spray a little bit of silicone spray and make sure that's on as many of the uh, bits of the, the cog wheel, as the teeth even the teeth of the cogwheel as possible, and that will stop the little mouse that seems to have hidden in your pro stitcher. That is everything I really need to say. Um, there are all the screws and everything else that you need in these little packs, as well as the USB stick. And I do put some extra um, files on your USB, and we'll be talking about those when we do your one-on-one -on -one training. If you have any questions, you can always get hold of us by email or by one of our phone numbers that we've got on our website. Have fun installing your Pro Stitcher. It's gonna be worth it. It's an absolutely fantastic product. Okay. <laughs>